Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in subsistence. Okay, guys. I don't know if y'all can make it out or not, but there is a campfire in that direction. Which means, yes, yes, we do have hunters re-enabled. So I went ahead, turned them back on. We have them set for revenge attack only. So we're going to see how that goes about, what happens, all that good stuff. Now, I am getting ready to get the shotgun upgrade. I believe all I need is that. Oh no, I need 12 rope. I thought I needed 9. No, I need 12. Yeah. Okay. Yay, we have 5 sinew left. That's a lot. So anyway, like I said, we're uh, trying to get towards getting that next upgrade for my shotgun because you know that's going to be awesome and I wanted to test out the hunters see how they acted you know I wanted to see if the stuff actually worked the way they said it would Now, from what I read on the forums, a couple of people said, you know, it worked the first couple of days they played. Um, not that it unworked or didn't work after that, it's just that's all they had played. And they said for the couple of days that they had it turned off, that it was very nice to not have the constant wave after wave after wave of hunter attacks. Um because I guess the people are playing on, you know, more harder difficulty and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah, that's a thing. Yay, we got enough stuff there. Okay, what about here? I got you. Okay, so I need electronics, weapon parts, and then I need that so I'm probably gonna need to go ahead and just turn that on fuel it up let it run uh, let's go ahead and take another hundred And that brings us up to that much. Okay, we need a little bit more. Fortunately for me, I've been collecting wood just for this occasion. And that puts us at 238. Is that enough? No, it is not enough. They're going to take all of my wood, aren't they? How about now? Still not enough? How much wood do you need? You know what? We're just going to drop the whole stack of 50 in there. You're over 300. Are we good? Yeah, finally. Finally, finally, finally. I really wish we could get an update for the UI so that I can increase the size of this a little bit. I mean, because, like, if those letter or those numbers were the size of these, eh, I could see it. But no, they're all squinty, and when they're red, eh, I can't make it out. I just cannot make it out. Good. Upgrade. Alright, guys, we are going for a level 4 in the firepower. So... This is by far the strongest weapon in the game, um, other than like a grenade or the claymore possibly. This is going to do literally the most damage. 
So that is awesome. We got it. And yeah. We have it. So, alright. So now what we need to do is. Oh, I've already chopped those trees. Okay, well, I think. We need to kind of explore just a little bit. Get a little bit of wood. I'd like to go after another kitty so that I can get a little bit more sinew. Uh. I don't have any lock picks, so doing a lock pick box right now won't won't really help us. I mean, I could run back, but we don't have any mass, and I'd have to go chop more trees or throw other stuff in there. And yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it. Not today. We will just, you know, we'll go kill a kitty. So it shouldn't be a problem. I do need to get some more cloth, though. Hey, you're alive. Awesome. I think I'm going to go put you back in the house real quick. That way I can kill you later and get three cloth. Yay, three cloth. It'll only take me a day or two. Actually take more than a day or two to get up to level 10 but yeah y'all know what I'm saying uh huh my feet stay dry so anyway guys um not sure what else oh why am I in here we're supposed to go I was gonna cook him. <laughs> I was gonna go cook him. Yeah, you get in there, you live, you be free, you be with your other bunny pals. Let me go grab a couple tomatoes for him real fast. I know we're gonna start burning through tomatoes a little bit quicker with this many animals, but you know, it's okay. Most definitely okay. So, anyway, uh, I did a little bit of reading in the forums today. And, unfortunately, the consensus kind of agrees with what I already stated a couple days ago in the other video. That the new update is an awesome update as far as the map goes the quality and all that good stuff top-notch awesome but no one feels like there's a reason to go over there oh there's a hunter base right there in the river Look at my shotgun um so yeah nobody feels like oh so you must have killed him already. Uh, oh, no, oh, get off of it. He is trying to kill you. You were supposed to be dead. Where are you at? I don't see him. What in the world is going on here? Give me my wolf. <sighs> okay, so it looks like we're going to have to go mess with the hunter. I didn't think he was going to be right there. I mean, the wolf was alive. Figured he had already died. A 
bear in the river. There he is. You know, we could have lived side by side in harmony, but no. You had to be a dirty little hunter. Why did he build right at the middle of the river? That makes no sense. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, everyone agrees that it's an awesome update as far as the quality of the expansion. No one's arguing that one bit, but no one feels there's a need to go over there. And people are saying the exact same thing I've already stated as, you know, why do I need to go over there? There's nothing over there that I can't get in the other area of the map, you know. Uh, and I, I do agree with them. It is, like I said before, we needed content. We needed stuff. If you're going to do that map upgrade, which is fine, but he should have put something in there to drive people over to it. Hey, there's the kitty. No, get the... I don't know why it wouldn't scroll through my stuff properly. It's like it skipped over the shotgun, I thought. I don't know. Maybe I just hit the scrolly wheel too much. I don't know. Either way, we killed it. We lived. Barely. But we lived. So, now to head back down. After I get this bunny. Quit going down the hill. Really? We're going to go through this stuff again. We are going to go through this. <laughs> he literally turned right as I shot. Not today, Mr. Bear. Not today. No snack for you. Or for you. So, but yeah, anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, no one feels the need to go over there. They're just like, you know, there's not a resource or anything that's compelling them to go to that area. Which is what kind of let me down on the update is you know like the new the first update the first map update was hey there's a lake which resource was the water you know if you wanted to have more access to more water you would come over here to this side of the map well most people i'm not going to say everyone but most people have already established their bases in probably an area that has water so you know that takes away that one specific resource and you know it's eh, it's one of those deals one of those deals not a lot of people are happy with it like I said, I really, really wish Cold Games would have done a content update before that map update, or at least included some sort of resource or something in order to draw people's attention to that area of the map. Because like I said, I don't have to go to that map for anything. There's not a single thing I can't get over here that I can get over there. So... Eh, it's a thing. It is most definitely a thing.
go ahead and drink that. But yeah, that's, I don't know. I still don't agree with his thought process in why he wanted to update the map when he did. It just doesn't make much sense to me. Don't know, don't know. Maybe in the grander scheme of things it makes sense to him because he has his roadmap in his head of what he wants to do when he wants to do it and all that stuff and unfortunately that's the drawback that everyone's been complaining about is because you know he does an update like this and no one knows why because no one knows his plan I mean for all we know the reason for the update is you know maybe the next update has something to do with the lake itself the water and he needed the map expanded in order to do that update you know maybe the next was a deep diving system that you know would l allow you to explore deeper in the bottom of the lake and you know maybe find something I don't know I mean if that's the case then yes it makes sense to do this update you know soon if you know not necessarily in this order but you know I still think even though if that's the case and that's what his little roadmap is aiming at, I still would have gave a little bit of content just because, you know, give him something. Like I said, I'd really love another set of clothing right now. That would be awesome. Some armor, you know, some mid-range stuff that would give you protection, but not cost an arm and a leg to make because honestly that's what I would do too I would forgo like right now with us in the combat gear if there was another set of armor like a medium ranged armor I'd go ahead and just make the medium armor I wouldn't even make a second set of the good stuff at least not now maybe later on but you know I'm not the type of person who wants to constantly gather nothing but resources. I mean, we've gathered so many that, yeah, it's eh, it's a little bit dragging on there. Just, you know, every day, run out, chop a tree. Every day, run out, gather water. Every day, run out, do this. I mean, and it does make sense. That is, you know, subsistence living. You do have to do stuff like that. Oh, I spooked him. But this isn't, you know, wood chopper water gather simulator 3000. Which at times it does feel like that it's going in that direction. Ah, <sighs> missed him. That's not my arrow. Where'd my arrow go? Wow, that was way off. I just want to get the bunny so I can get some more stuff. There we go. I just need the cloth. But anyway... So, but yeah, that's that's the that's the feel of the forums right now is that there's not a lot of people happy. I mean, there's a couple of people happy that have stated, you know, they haven't played the game in a long time and they come back to it and they're just amazed at it, which is awesome and I can see exactly where they're coming from. Like if say someone hasn't played the game since the first uh since the first iteration of the lake and ponds 
then yeah, there is so much new stuff for a person to play with and mess with and learn and oh yeah, it's it's huge. It is huge. But for us who have been playing non-stop, constantly straight, eh, we're running out of stuff. We are running out of stuff. Okay, that wolf is literally right on that dude's fire. Where is he? Did they kill him? Oh, they had to have killed him. Yeah, that bear's bloody up there. I'm just going to leave him be. I'm just going to leave him be. Because that actually will be a good spot for a hunter to spawn in. Because there are good, uh, good animal spawns right there that should help keep him in check. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm not too upset about killing the one hunter. Just for the simple fact that I would like to see how well or how poorly our wall does. So that's part of the reason why I went ahead and killed him that and he shot at me. I mean, pshit, you shoot at me and yeah, you're not getting away. You are not getting away from that. Oh no, you shot at me. Well, I wasn't even messing with you. I was killing a wolf. I was doing you a favor. Now, I just don't know. The only thing I can think of is that the wolf killed him. Because I had heard the gunshots last night. So I think the wolf killed him. And that's why the wolf was injured. And then I ended up being in the area when he respawned. And then I got the new hunter instead of the one that got ate by the by the wolf. I think that's what happened. Not a hundred percent sure, but that's what I'm leaning towards. Oh yeah, give me some more ore. I like the iron. Yay, more stuff. A little potassium. And a little bit more iron. Good. No more nodes around here. Oh, what is that? Yes, I will take you. Twenty iron. Yeah, that's a pretty good run for the day. Wait, it keeps spawning. So much iron. Should have built on this rock. <laughs> no, my luck though. If I would have built here, it would have killed the spawns. Double checking, making sure we got it all. Yeah, I'm liking this. That's all good. All good. really happy with that amount of ore. Oh, if only I could get to that without risking breaking my leg, I probably would. Let's see if there's anything on top. No. Nope, nothing on top, sadly. Oh well, maybe next time. So anyway... Let's see, we finally got our shotgun upgraded all the way. 
so we got that checked off the list next we need to do some of the reload speed upgrades on it to see if those are really worth it or not uh, I don't know if we're going to do all four. We might just do one or two of them just to kind of get a little bit of a feel. Because, I mean, it should. I I don't know. Oh, we're out of water here. My animals were thirsty. Uh, it should all be the same in the end, I think. Like, what am I trying to say here? Um. Like, an increase is an increase. There's no difference in the increases. So whatever the increase is, you know, if we do two upgrades, then you just double that, and that's what you get. So we can pretty much tell off of one or two upgrades if it's going to be worth it or not. And like I said, I've never done them because I've always just, tch, firepower, let me shoot you in the face, and we'll go from there. Come on, bunny. Cook up. There you go. Let's go drop this iron off. That's nice. Very nice. Go ahead and eat the bunny. And yeah, we'll go with that. open for that yes there is I will hold on to the apple oh what was that that was weird did I'm not sure what just happened there I like blinked and all of a sudden my dude looked like he had glitched or something so I was running and the next thing I know I was like over here huh it's odd I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. I shouldn't be, though. Anyway, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there, but... Anyway, it's getting dark, so... I think that is going to do it for today's video. So, I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself, guys. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared, guys. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.